mode, classic, tactician, and story. I think since I'm pretty new to this game, I'm gonna do story. And like this is this genre of games besides like Wasteland 3 and some other like turn-based games, like this is all pretty new to me. Like I never was really into these types of games back in the day. Um and I never really like played PC ass games like this. So that's me trying to justify me going story mode. So I'm gonna go story mode for this first playthrough. But later on down the line, um maybe I'll change it to or eventually start another playthrough that's like your standard mode, whatever it may be. Attacking guards in the city is one of the fastest ways to end your journey. Separate stacked items by holding left shift. They run through these, uh, all these, uh, tips here. Loading character creation. All right, so here we go. So this is like the person I see everyone, uh, play as or something let me close this out so that way we're not moving over to the next screen all the time all right so these are like your origin people i guess your original like pre-crafted characters from my understanding east lossy main dwarf okay so that's like I see, I see now. Undead human, undead lizard, red lizard prince. Famed of course for my unique red skin and unparalleled skills as a general of the house of war, I, the red prince, was raised within the vast palaces of the fabled forbidden city. I was destined to become Whoa. the next emperor. But my ambitions suffered. Okay, so they have like full on like stories that you can listen to. What's this guy? The background Once stuff's pretty cool too. For the divine order. I pledged my life to Lucian the divine. The war changed everything. A slave no longer, you still bear. You are infamous, brilliant warrior general, exiled from his empire for co coverting with demons. Uh, fallen from grace, you refuse to give up. The throne will be yours again. Now you hunt him. Your mission kill Lucia's son. Now your old enemy is back. If you don't stop, no one will. Musician, performer, star. Woke up and your world is gone. The last of your kind, you fight. What's this guy's origin? Whoa, that's a lot different than what we just saw a second uh, ago. Don't stare. How would you look after eons in some ghastly crypt? To your people are rather prone to death. Mine are not. Yet when I emerged from my completely unjustified imprisonment, I found them gone. Our culture forgotten. Any trace huh. of the world I knew all but obliterate. That's pretty cool. Alex, play dead, and time warp. Hm. I think what I'm gonna do is probably a custom human. Just because uh <laughs> undead warp, undead elf, undead human, undead lizard. Alright, that's pretty cool. <clears throat> I'm going to go custom human though. Uh, do these, I'm assuming you can change like your talents and stuff. Unless if that's like, uh, class locked. Where's the other guy? Who's his name? Ifan. Encourage and summon Ifan soul wolf. 
That might be locked. Encourage and dome protection. If I went Ethan, can you still change like everything else? Talents and stuff. Ah, uh, I see now. Whoa. All right, this is pretty dope. I'm into this. Do it up. Do it up. Do it up. Do it up. All right, that's that's pretty sick. I didn't know it worked like that. So like this guy, if you wanted to be damage change those your like full on outfit too. Oh God, hopefully I didn't break it. So now I'm questioning, do I go with one of the custom dudes? Or do I adventurous, confident, flexible at times, even cleverest humans are dormant in Rebellion. They also play the hero in their own endless war, even when they're villains. Should I start with a custom made character? Or do I create my own? Um, origin character, origin or custom? Let's see. Uh, let me check this subreddit. I go with custom if you want to play. Personally, enjoy the origin characters. I really enjoy the writing of Larian and the origin characters make me feel connected to the world in general. They are especially interesting. It's up to you, but I recommend playing origin to start out with. <clears throat> Somebody else said, I think that custom characters help maximize story elements for first time players. Having seen Seabile, Ifan, Red Prince, and Fane, I recommend Fane purely from the theatrical standpoint. Lore. How you doing, Step Bro? Yo, what's going on, Slayer? Yeah, what's going on, PG, PB, and J all day? <laughs> uh, recommend Fane purely from theatrical. Yeah, I don't know whether to do definitely origin. Some people say it did. It's back and forth. Like the next comment is origin. The next person is custom. If you want origin characters for the quest of stories, just recruit them. And unless you're playing with three or more friends, uh, unless you're playing with three or more friends. Okay. All right. I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to go custom then. If that's what they're saying. Uh, cause then you can always like recruit them in game, I guess, technically according to this, but, uh, everyone always asks, what are you doing step row? But not how are you doing step row? True. <laughs> how are you doing step row? I uh, interesting. So I'm going to have to look at these. If we just start with this, so human, I'm going to make Cassis to myself. Uh, talents are, can you swap these? Okay. It looks like talents. You can swap up there. Um, so encourage allies around you, increasing their primary abilities and create a physical, uh, magical field that restores magic and physical armor and increases elemental resistance on allies. Build preset. Conjure personal elemental that matches the ground it's summoned onto. Your incarnate can be buffed with infusions. Once you hit summoning ability, level 10 will answer your summons. Ooh. Elemental totem. Okay. Got an enchanter. Water surface. Icicles and electrical jolts an interesting starting outfit for an enchanter a fighter inquisitor why does the inquisitor actually look so dope rush forward in a straight line to a designated point blood sucker target character consumes blood surfaces around them some restoring vitality yo inquisitor seems pretty dope I'm gonna play some among us while watching you all right sounds good to me <laughs> well, I appreciate you uh, lurking too, by the way. Metamorph. Horns sprout from your forehead, making you see red. You can rush at your enemies and gore them. Increase retribution. 
Turn the target character into a chicken squawk. <laughs> Tentacle lash. That seems pretty cool too. Classic ranger. Rogue. Shadow blade. Wayfarer. Witch. Or a magic armor and then tries to set sleeping. Raise bloated corpse. Corpse to raise a bloated that fights for you. It can explode dealing physical damage. I think I'm going to probably end up going wizard. Shoot three flaming daggers at the target of your choice. Giant rock filled with sticky oil that deals damage. Or battle mage. Rush forward in a straight line to a designated point, hitting all enemies in your path physical damage. Enemies around you receive air damage and shocking touch. Set the shocked. Oh man, there's so many choices. I don't know, man. Cleric. Some of these outfits too, like the starting characters, um, they have some stuff that like I I feel like the outfits don't match, but. I guess it's just my viewpoint. I don't know. You want some advice or are you just rolling through the game? Um, I'll take some advice. Like at the end of the day, I'm gonna make my own choices, but I'm I'm open to uh I'm I'll I'll listen to advice. Things like that. So as a first time player, if you have any advice, I'm okay with listening to that. I'm okay with um I mean, at the end of the day, I'm going to do whatever I think I want to do, but I'm all right with like any beginning tips because I'm really going in for the most part blind. Um, you can change skills in the main menu to blow up, blow your mind even more. Okay. <laughs> I haven't even gotten to the appearance part, <laughs> so I'm just trying to set like a build whichever build preset so like if there's a say if this chloroform if if i start as a witch and i start with these abilities will i be able to unlock this chloroform ability or is that just a um like now you have to unlock witch abilities i guess maybe i can look around presets Wizard, Witch, Edit. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go through this too. Various panels show you primary stats and spend points after you level up. Okay, understood. Depending on common abilities, generally increase your damage to doing skills, schools you invest in. However, there are benefits as well. Read the descriptions of the skill. Okay. So you can still like change this types of stuff ah oh, i see i see aha whoa whoa okay so like if you wanted to swap out from pyrogenic ability selected ones from geomancer ability okay so like oh uh, okay so if you want to do those two and then like this guy or like this guy those three guys instead i see i see okay do you get new skills as you level up through the game select talents to complete a character's abilities and attributes okay and this is like your i see i see thanks determine what options are available in dot dialogue how the world reacts to your party members. Custom characters have race, uh, gender, and background tags. Origin characters have unique origin tags. Okay. I see. <clears throat> All right. Let's roll with it then. Let's uh, let's just figure this out, and then we'll roll with one or the other. So I think I don't know. I'm kind of into the witch thing. I mean, it, it, the witch thing looks a little bit cooler than the. Uh, <clears throat> the wizard but i'm also assuming later on you'll get different um 
like gear and different equipment and all that good stuff but then this inquisitor looks so dope too um all right well i'm gonna go with i'm gonna go with which let's do it all right so which uh so now we need to choose let me zoom in here so skin color uh we'll go like that yeah that's fine face or it took me like a solid hour to pick yeah <laughs> that's exactly how i am i love customization though so I, i'm i'm always happy that there's options like this all right face 14 is an option nine even six i feel like six looks pretty young why is wait 17 that reminds me i guess maybe i might be wrong but it reminds me of like um handsome jack or no maybe 16 does all right let's go let's go 14 uh I don't know, some of these dudes look so young. I mean so old. Let's get let's go fifteen. Our right, hairstyle. How many options are there? Okay, there's like twenty. See what we got here. Any fades? <clears throat> Some cool uh, millennial hair. That one's not bad. So five is an option. I'd rather go with five. I was making a battle mage. I feel like this would be like a good hairstyle. 19 is not bad either, but it's very puffy. I might go with five. Yeah, let's do five. Yeah, 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 five. All right, where's the all black? Carpenter. Make sure that there's not any up. Oh, never mind. Blacksmith. Carpenter is kind of like a light gray. Yeah, blacksmith. Facial features. Aha. What I like to see. So we have one. One, six. Whoa, that last one's not bad either. 17. What was six? I kind of, uh, I'm digging six. Uh, I don't know. What was 17? I also like looking at this up here. Nah, that looks classy. Meet you on my tree the reaper for me. <laughs> Almost got me that time. Better luck next time. Random Almost lobby among us. Time. Sucks so badly. Yeah, sometimes that I I did like two last night and like three people left as I was waiting for other people. You definitely it's definitely the type of game that you need to play with friends. Nice Went so hard and randomly pick names until they're right. Yeah. You're not trying to escape, are you? Meet your maker. I'm ready. I'm ready. Meet your maker. <laughs> Meet your maker. I'm going with uh, warrior. All right. So now that that's done, let me change my name again. All right. So <laughs> now we go in here. Um. One recommendation, if you do want people to honestly play with, um, if you do exclamation point rebel, 
uh, there are a bunch of people that uh, I play with sometimes. So they have a pretty active Discord. Everyone's pretty nice and welcoming and everything. Um, so if you ever wanted to, they do some uh, some rebel mission or I mean sessions of Among Us since it's starting to get some popularity and stuff. So it's an option. Just gonna put it out there. I uh, let's see. Strength, finesse, base it. Uh, currently finesse base attacks and skills do five percent plus damage. Base attacks and that. Okay, constitution. All right, I'm just gonna leave it at that. Abilities. Aha. Oh man. Oh god. Civil abilities are non-combat abilities. They come in handy when you're not solving a situa situation through conflict. What was that? Uh, re oh yeah, my bad. Uh, it's rebel, so R-E-B-L. Yeah, I forgot that it's not like rebel. There, I, I did it for you. <clears throat> yeah, sorry. <laughs> um... I always forget about that is it's not like there's no E second E. So the current abilities that we have are scoundrel increase movement speed and boost your critical modifier. Necromancer heals you whenever you deal damage directly to vitality and persuasion helps you convince characters to do your bidding and dialogues and increase how much characters like you. Ooh, I like that last one. Oh, okay, I see. So combat abilities and civil abilities. Uh, yeah, bartering, lucky charm, thievery, sneaking. So like if I took one from this, I could add it to any other one. But I can't take it from any other ability. Personality too. Wow, people like me. Sneaking, thievery. Lore Master identifies enemies and allows you to identify items. Increasing Lore Master allows you to identify more faster to identify using a monster. Select them and choose examine. Okay. Regardless of weight, that's pretty cool. So summoning. Warfare. Increase all physical. Hunt speed. Increase damage bonus. Scoundrel movement speed and boost your critical modifier. Hyergenic. That Geomancer increase all poison and earth damage you deal and any physical armor restoration. Okay. And summoning increase vitality damage, physical armor, and magic armor of your summons and totems. So like your abilities are ice ah Okay. So by selecting whatever is in there. That gives you what ability options you have to choose from. I see now. I understand now. Ah, okay, okay, cool. So then, if I wanted to change this up, I can do it like, instead of Scoundrel, I think I'm gonna do Summoning. So that way we're Necromancer and Summoning if I do confirm and then I go here then now I have necromancer abilities and summoning abilities Aha! this is what I like to see cool cool uh, so let me actually uncheck these and let's see what what are the three skills that we have we have deal 12 to 14 to a target so let's decay to the target will take physical damage from healing spells Damage is based on your turn and receives bonus from intelligence. I uh, enrich from your level and receives bonus from intelligence. <clears throat> and this one is unlocking ranged attack for your incarnate. Provides seven magic bonus. Increased damage by 25%. Personal only that matches the ground surface and summon onto your incarnate can be buffed in fusions. Dimensional boat. Belt bolt. An elemental totem. Alright, each turn the totem will fire a projectile and enemies in sight. I'm gonna do conjure incarnate. 
Yeah, I like that. Uh, decaying touch, at least this form of that. Targeted character consumes blood surface around them, restoring vitality. The more blood, the more they will be healed. Or up to 17, depending on the relevant surface area. Consumes blood surfaces around them, restoring vitality. Okay. Argo will take physical damage from healing spells and potions. Interesting. Mosquito swarm. I think I'm going to do... Hmm. Raise blood to corpse. Ah, oh, let's do that too. Gonna explode dealing. Yeah, definitely. And then... Either a blood sucker. I think I kind of want to go another necromancer ability here. Our character consumes that. Um, let's go mosquito swarm there confirm okay so there's our starting abilities persuasion necromancer summoning uh let's go to talents okay so gives you when standing in blood that's pretty cool so you get one talent i see Demon requires level two. Requires Wayfarer. Execution, Huntsman, Demon. Bigger and better, bigger and better. Immediately grants you two extra attribute points to spend. Pet Pal enables you to talk to animals. What a rush. Is there any that requires so ingenious gives you five percent so i guess you automatically get those and and thrifty are there any of these that the three four memory attribute morning person when you're resurrected you return to full health opportunist gives you ability to perform attacks of opportunity Party pal gives you 10 plus dodging while dual wielding or parry master. Oh, I put party and pal together. Savage, slingshot, stench, torturer. Current status caught us by you are no longer blocked by magic or physical and their duration is extended by one turn. That's pretty cool. I might go with pet pal <laughs> so you can talk to animals duck duck goose pretty funny if you like doing quests and stuff I might I mean leech is pretty good too right I mean that's pretty cool if you can heal while standing in blood Uh, last cannon start every grant uh combat round with maximum ap but magic and do not protect you from statuses error recovery hmm. i'm gonna do i'm gonna stick with leech just because um i don't know how difficult it's gonna be all right, so your origins, available tags to the Barbarian, Jester, Mystic, Noble, Outlaw, Scholar, and Soldier. Soldier, man. The, uh, I'm doing, so since this is my first time and I'm like, I'm still like new to this genre, I feel like I'm, it's not going to be too difficult because I'm on story mode and it's probably going to be really easy, but I just want to, you know get a hang of it first because I'll most likely be like one of those games where I come back to and replay and everything. 
So uh, we'll see how it goes. I just don't want to get wrecked and then be pissed. But we'll see. We'll see. Plus, I, I'm into this story. Very balanced and fun. All right. Well, we're going to we're going to see how this turns out. If it comes, if it turns out horrible, then I can always make a new character or uh, change it or whatever you may need to do. Mistake cracks in reality, leave you to other, uh, some of the boys, some of the gods, your vision is not quite your own, but you can make sure use of it. Noble born in riches, outlaw, scholar. Okay. Yeah. If you can change mid game, then that's, that's perfect too. Oh boy. <laughs> Don't miss that exam, man. Sign the public with body tales and memorize them with midnight frights. So these will give you different dialogue options. Are you able to make like a full party? Like what's the maximum party for this game? Is it four? I mean, as like companions or do you have to like recruit people and get them to like you? I honestly might go mystic. Cracks in reality leave you to other times and places. Some of the voice, some of the gods. Your vision is not quite your own, but you can make use of it. Mystic and like. You know the difference between a latrine and, lo and a lieutenant. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Intelligent and curious. Your appetite for learning far more. Sees your taste for bloodshed. Books and scrolls are your dearest possessions. Yes, they're barbarian. I think I might go mystic and scholar. Select your uh, origin instrument. It will take the lead in the music during fights and other stuff. Okay. That's pretty cool. Definitely the Bansuri. All right. After 45 minutes of creating my character, I think I'm finally ready. So ladies and gentlemen, start game. Yes. Oh no, no, I'm just kidding. We're good. Larian Studios presents. Let's get this immersion going. It all happened like I knew it would. single drop of source magic. And like flies to honey, the monsters swarmed. The rebel panicked. The carnage began. And the magisters pointed their fingers at me. Just as I'd planned. I was shackled and collared and no. sent to Fort Joy. I'd come here to kill Godwoken, but instead I became part of their story. Oh boy. It begins. You set the edge panning speed in the game section of the options menu. You can also disable it when you hit the ground on the surface with your weapon holding left. And then click to the terrain. They run through those so fast. <laughs> I can't even finish reading all of them. Who is this? Still a bit groggy, are we? 
Don't worry. The sedative will wear off soon enough. Easy now. No need to hurry. Get your bearings and report to me upstairs. Character can no longer use source magic or receive source points. So it, it wasn't a dream after all. Boy. Game saved. Move objects by clicking and dragging them. Or just take all. Yeah. Okay, nice. Oh. Uh whoa. Oh my god. I'm just realizing now this <laughs> bar down here. Ability to shape you what and how well they do it. Okay, I see. Ah, okay. The wielding, yada yada, skills, leadership. Civil abilities. Talents are character unique qualities and slightly change the role for that particular character. Okay. And then you have your traits. Sweet. Whoops. Like everything I can get. What do I? I keep hitting like Q or something. Oh, it's E. That's why. I like trying to move the camera. Yeah, E and Q. I'm like trying to tilt the camera like left and right, but I guess you can't do that. Middle mouse button. Ah. You want to leave the tutorial deck? No. Nope. Interesting. She said meet her upstairs, right? Medicinal cabinet? Can I chain myself back oh, up? I don't even remember them strapping me down. Oh, I don't even remember <laughs> them strapping me down. This thing moves fast when you click. All right, let's go up, I guess. Yes. New information will be added to your journal. Press L to access it. That quest gives you that. Got a ton of stuff. Merryweather Chronicles. Do you have any stuff? All right, let's go check. There you are. Not too tight, I hope. The collar, I mean. Oh, not to worry. Every dog has to get used to its leash. In the meantime, your next stop will be Magister William. All passengers have to be registered in the ship's manifest. You'll find him on the other side of this deck, in the officer's quarters. So you, yeah, uh... Use that room by the shape you can tell by using it, but why? Why? Because we're at sea, of course, and have been for several days. Index fingers pressed to her lips. She pauses a moment to give you a scrutinizing gander. My word. <laughs> There's a narrator. A fuddled, don't you? Perhaps I was a bit too generous with... Oh, well, I'm sure you'll soon gather your wits. Most likely. Eventually. In the meantime, a new life awaits. And if you're a particularly good boy, perhaps a cure as well. An end to source. For good. Why, for my peace of mind, of course. Why don't you try casting one of those source spells of yours? See what happens. Currents of magic surge inside you. Boiling, bursting, then breaking. Only to my look at the concentration on your f there you have it see the collars function it neuters you uh. for, for your own peace of mind of course yours open your map and poor characters will mark the destinations on your map what the 
Why is it so low texture? <laughs> the map is like very, very low, low texture. But okay. God. Good gods. There's, there's been a murder here. What happened? Ugly sight, isn't it? Burns me up this happened under our protection. We're extremely lucky no void walk and followed the source that did this. Inform her that she wasn't this man's protector, she was his captor. Ask why she's letting you so close to the crime scene, for all she knows, you could be the killer. Finn didn't see it like that. He was desperate for us to help him. Two things scared the living daylights out of him. His own shadow and his own saw. We'll find out who did this. She looks up at you with a mirthless... I was on duty in your room when the murder happened. You were asleep the whole time. You're one of the only indisputably innocent people on the ship. <laughs> Unless you can commit murder in your sleep, of course. Well, you never know. Don't say maybe you can, you're a sorcerer after all. Tell her that you, that's a trick you haven't quite mastered. I thought as much. Listen, I could use someone to keep their ears open among the passengers. Bring me a good lead and I'll throw in a shiny gold coin for you. How about that? Thanks. I just want to catch whoever did this. Oh. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sir. Okay, now I see. Now I see. My bad. My bad. Now, where did I leave my calipers? Hey, do you, any, do you know anything about the... Told... Sorry. Oh, I'm so used to... A young magister stands... Behind the magister, a blooded mass lies in a heap. Gore and limbs lie at odd angles. You can't make out a face amid the mess. There's been a murder. A sorcerer was killed by one of your own. Lucky you were busy getting your collar fitted at the time, or you'd be a son. Waters is investigating. She'll figure out who did it. Always. Aren't you enterprising? Go ahead. She with the body. I honestly didn't even see that, dude. Hatch is blocked. I'll need to find another way. Very determined. Oh my god, I keep please, please, moving please. it. That's enough now. Bed rolls. Use the rest and heal your party. Nice. Ah, oh, there you are. Would you please tell this very charming gaggle of not at all brat like babes that I am by no accounts this Losa woman, nor do I sing in front of But her name I'm is Losa. Deathly, deathly allergical. <laughs> Play along with her arm and with a grin, tell the children they must be mistaken. Went at the lot of them. How very correct you are, spouse of mine. Madam oh. Josephine Gribbles de Peeve refuses to be confused. What? What's her pinched face cracks into a great grin and she shoos the children away from her with a laugh. Yeah, okay, you found me out. Go on and get, and maybe I'll sing you something when I'm good. She turns to you, dark eyed. Gotta keep ourselves entertained, haven't we? Chagran, a lost you person. Right. Ah, she knows anything about nope. murder. Trying not to find anything out either. Ignorance is bliss. The utterer, the better. <laughs> Have a look around with you, you can watch each other's Thanks, backs. But I already belong to an elite and exclusive ship gang. We play ball every day after lunch. You take care, though. Suddenly, her eyes cloud to an unnatural black. Grayish veins run down her face, and her mouth tightens into a cruel sneer. As quickly as they came, the clouds clear. She smiles as though no change came over her. Good luck, Chief. Okay. Sea pile. What you doing there? An elf sits tucked away in a dark spot, lazily rolling snake. She chuck. I bet that's just what they'll look like. Rolling dice, deciding fates. Don't worry, honey. She looks you up and down with the merest tint of a coy. Never say never, though. Side fates with dice, as if she. She eyes you quite seriously. <laughs> Not the future, no, but I can read the past. I could lick your arm and tell you how you spent the night before last. Shall I? Don't see why not. Extend she your arm. your arm a vigorous stroke of the tongue. Efficiently. Hmm. <laughs> you were in a cellar 
with other sorcerers. As everyone lay sleeping, you lay you were reminiscing <laughs> about the things you used to do together. Oh. Snap at her, she doesn't even know seven hells she's talking about. <laughs> Stare at the ground embarrassed. Yeah, I quite forgotten about that. Of course it is. The but don't you worry, darling. You'll see I don't lick. Don't lick and tell. Okay. I'll come back to you. You better be ready to talk here. A broad dwarf ah, sits totally upright on the bench, eyes closed, palms face up on his knees. His beard is he raises an eyebrow as you approach, but listen up, boy. You hear that? The ship, of course. A wave of sound washes over you. The unintelligible chatter of your shipmates. The groaning of wood from... And? Uh... Ship is moaning like a sick man. Sick as a leper's cat. From the state of it, I'd say she's being cared for by a bunch... But there's more. Listen close. There now, just like squee. <laughs> his eyes snap open as his countenance breaks into an expression of there. You heard that, didn't you? I knew it. I knew it. Aye, this is good news, boy. Good news. What's it's supposed to the be? Wheel, the wheel. Don't you see, you beautiful idiot? <laughs> Squeaks whenever the helmsman jerks it clockwise. Pardon my beard. That means if we've been travelling for yes. Only 10.34 nautical Damn, miles dude, to Fort he's smart. <laughs> Oh, he shouldn't be talk like that. It's such a magnificent beard. Beard? Oh my god, I can't speak. That's why I saw you about it. Yeah. No, indeed, boy. The dwarf leans back from the table and strokes his beard. Gold medallions jingling merry. That'll be all. Thank you kindly, boy. He continues. You one of them? A divine order loyal. Nope. Hey, why don't you use the dog? You can't you can't understand what this animal is trying to say if you had that Aw oh, man, we could have had a meaningful conversation. Uh the divine order wants to know. Well you aren't here on my list. Like I said. Okay. Can we just skip to the part where I reassure you and you shut well, up? Well. What have we here? A fresh face in this stale hell. All of a sudden, he grips you firmly by- hmm. There's some discoloration, but I've seen- Now then, to business. You will answer me three questions. The first one is this. Put the wizard Can in the kitchen, cook? a true oh, chef. Music to- On to the second question. Can you knit, weave, in short, uh, tailor? I'm gonna say these provide cool in summer uh give him a sheet of sand you can make him a bum look like a oh, baron feel the caress of satin on my scar on then to my <laughs> final query have you the ability to administer the upkeep of one's personal appearance the delicate art of cosmetics is what i'm after Certainly have personal pride and no stranger to combs, powders, and perfumes. The very basic. So, three questions asked. As per your own testimony, you can cook, tailor, and I offer you my sincerest congratulations. As of <laughs> now, you are my slave. You're over the moon. Tell him you accept. Stared him blankly. He thinks you're his what now? My slave, of course. Oh, but... I see. Yes, I... I Suppose it must take some time for the full extent. Anyway, you may leave me for a moment. We'll go over your duty. <laughs> Till like I said, you are. Becomes a crime, I shall hold my head. <sighs> I spent my life singing. Meanwhile, you just take a seat. I'm busy watching for clues, sorcerer. Whoa. Sorry, man. Never thought you'd end up a prison. A scruffy man lounges against you the fan. wall with. Watch your back. New fish. Rolling his eyes at the Magister's warning, the ma he leans in and adjusts your collar with a sharp tug, balancing its weight so it no longer presses Hey, wait a minute, we look neck. similar. He pinches less that way, right? Hocking a phlegmy gobbit in your general direction, the sullen Magister settles back to his task of glowering at Ifa. And now, you. We used to know each other, more's the pity. 
I was his commander, many, many... Standing far back from Ifan, Ifan grins, flashed... Same as he was at 14 years old. Only difference is, somebody gave him a bigger sword, and now he's Johnny Big Pants. Long story. Maybe I'll tell you about it in the joy. Away from interested parties. Are you still curious about no. what did he do? The dead man, Finn, is it? I'd no business with him. And I wouldn't put a man down without good... He glances over at Magister Victor, who's... Damn shame, sheer annoyance isn't reason enough. The joy, I've heard a lot. Nothing good. Wonder if we'll get to meet the ringmaster himself. So exactly what you think of this bloody divine order. All you find one acquaintance you're not eager to make. They know entrance in Alexander. Not eager to bow before the great bishop Alexander, son of the divine himself. What are you conspiring about over there? Oh, don't mind him. Fix to me. If and performs in the <laughs> Yo, Grog Grog Mastersons. Thank you for the uh, follow there. How you doing? Uh, this is for 